Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today we will be solving various numerical examples based on Bernoulli's equation. So those of you who have not yet gone through my previous lecture where I made you understand about the Bernoulli's equation and its derivation, please go through that first and then come back in this lecture. And this today's lecture is very very important because most of the exams, whether it is competitive or university exams, they do have numericals based on Bernoulli's equation. So please do solve it carefully. Okay. So, first example is water flows through a tapered pipe of reducing cross sectional area. So, it, I have been given a pipe, tapered pipe of reducing cross sectional area and water is flowing through that. Pipe diameter at inlet and outlet section is 20 centimeter and 10 centimeter respectively. So, what I have been given is a pipe which is of tapered section. The pipe diameter at the inlet if fluid is flowing from left to right. The inlet diameter is 20 centimeter and outlet diameter is 10 centimeter. The velocity and pressure of water at inlet is 4 meter per second and 190 kPa. So, at this particular inlet, the velocity and pressure are given to you. Find the velocity and pressure at the outlet section of the pipe. So, you need to find V2 and P2 if the pipe axis is horizontal and parallel to the ground. So, if the pipe is totally horizontal and parallel to the ground. So, let me just draw sectional view. If I draw sectional view, I can see a cross section of the pipe something like this, whereas the Fluid is filled between the pipe, fluid is flowing through the pipe, water. This is centroidal axis, center axis of the pipe. Let us mark this inlet section to be 1 and outlet section to be 2. Okay. Now, what is given to us? I have been given velocity and pressure at this section. So, I can see that given data, given data. Firstly, I have been given the diameter that is at the inlet. So, D1 is equal to. 